Am I the asshole for telling my dad not to bother with me because I'll be gone when I'm 18? My dad wasn't around when I am 17 was a kid. Always working, and when he was around he didn't do much with me. All school stuff, games, B-day parties were only my mom while he would just be at home. Then it came out he was cheating on my mom when I was seven. They split up but I stayed with my mom. He never visited or would say he is and then not come. I pretty much forgot about him until my mom passed away a year ago and my life has been shit ever since. Don't worry I'm in therapy. I got an awesome therapist and talked to her every week online. The thing is I was forced to come live with my dad. I wanted to go with my grandparents but he wanted me to be here with his family and grandparents pushed me into going with him. My dad's trying to act like he hasn't ignored me all these years. He married the co-worker he cheated with and they had my little sister who's almost two. She's a cutie and the only one I actually like in this house. Probably won't see her after this but not like she'll remember me. My dad knows I don't like him and literally every day he bugs me about doing stuff with him and his wife. I don't talk to them or do anything when they invite me. I make my own meals at different times so I don't sit with them at the table, go to school online, stay in my room, talk to friends, go to work or play with my sister. But never do anything with them. When I moved in I told my dad this doesn't change anything with him and IDC if he decided to step up now that my mom's gone, I don't wanna connect W him. Even when mom was doing chemo he never offered help until after she died. He said he hopes to change my mind but all I said was good luck. I was off yesterday my dad invited me to go out for pizza but I told him no. He was fed up I could tell. Said I need to start getting used to him being in my life again and it's better for us to start trying to build our relationship. That made me snap. I said don't bother because I'm not gonna be here that long. As soon as I'm 18 in 4 months I'll be out of their house and he won't see me again. My dad was shocked he didn't believe me. But I told him I've been saving money ever since I started working a couple years ago. I'm even already looking for cheap apartments and my boss is gonna let me work full time so I'd make enough to support myself, won't need help with college since I got grants and financial aid for that. He's been silent ever since and not trying to talk anymore. My stepmom gives me dirty looks. Earlier she said I was an ungrateful SHT because I hurt my dad deeply telling him I'm going NC soon when he's tried to make things right. Don't see what the big deal is when we didn't see each other for years and it's obvious we know how not to be in each other's lives. But guess I was an ass for telling him I'm leaving. Was I though? Not the asshole. He deserved it. You could have held off on telling him to be more comfortable until you leave though. I don't think he deserves another chance at all. Do these people think kids, teenagers don't have memories? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He's just mad because he is a shitty father and doesn't want to accept it. If he truly wanted to be in your life, he could have reached out earlier. Sorry for your loss, I'm glad you're getting help C. Not the asshole. He doesn't get to expect anything from. And neither does stepmom she has some balls for calling you an entitled SHT. That's strong words coming from someone that couldn't find a single man to date. Not the asshole. Your dad was absent for years and then expects you be excited he is taking you out for a pizza? No, he is not owed an ounce of your consideration. Congratulations on being independent in a few months. Has he ever apologized or acknowledged what he did? And or have you had it out with him and laid it all out as to why you feel the way you do? Not the asshole, and it's not your responsibility to do that. However it might help you to just get stuff off your chest. Not the asshole he doesn't have the right to demand you forgive him. Your stepmom takes the prize, though. Cheat with someone's hubby, then call you names for remembering how bad she and your dad made your lives. Wow. Glad you have a plan and good luck with your education. Info did your dad ever apologize? Or do you know why he wanted you to live with him nine years after leaving? Not the asshole he spent seven years ignoring you while living with you, and nine more ignoring you after running off with his mistress. You don't owe him shit. You probably did hurt his feelings, and so what? His mistress is upset because if you won't pretend it happy family, how can she keep believing the cheating father of her child is a decent person? 
Not the asshole his current interest in parenting does not absolve him of years of being a deadbeat. Make sure he and your stepmom can't access your money, don't give them the chance to sabotage your your move. Not the asshole he is not your dad, he is a stranger. He disappeared for 10 years and now he want to have a relationship? Tell them that since it was okay for him to ghost you and hurt your feelings when you were a little kid, it's okay for you to do that to an adult. Oh and she is full of it. How dare she talk about hurting his feelings? She is the one that banged someone's essel husband and probably the reason he ghost you. She said I was an ungrateful shish t because I hurt my dad deeply. It always makes me laugh when the cheater or rather the person who split up a happy home, maybe one half, says shit like this. You don't get a say. And hash x200b. Not the asshole god speed my friend. I can't put my finger on it but it seems like he's got other motives. He pushed and pushed a relationship with you until he found out you had a job, money and apartments lined up ready to go no contact and then nothing. He just suddenly stopped and started licking his wounds? It sounds like he was angling for inheritance from your mom or maybe status of having another child a son maybe even just another adult to do chores and pay rent. Seems like he was after something specific and realized it was useless. Anyway not the asshole good luck with moving out and finding your chosen family. Not the asshole. Cats in the cradle here. Just start playing cats in the cradle non-stop. Not the asshole you reap what you sow. Your dad failed to nurture you for over a decade but now that he has no choice, he wants you to be grateful for meeting his legal obligation to housing you for the last year that you're classified a minor? He's just your layover to adulthood. You owe him nothing. Just remember that if you do decide to burn that bridge and go NC, he doesn't owe you an inheritance. Not the asshole. There are a myriad of reasons why, but you don't get to be absent and expect the abandoned to want to be involved as a family. Not the asshole. Just be careful. Depending on where you live, he might be able to take your savings as your legal guardian. Not the asshole. Firstly, my condolences on the loss of your mum. I can't imagine how it must have hurt as a little boy for him to say he's visiting and never turn up. This man is essentially a stranger to you, his child, by his own choice. He ignored you in your formative years, as a child and a teen boy who could have benefited from his father being around. You've every right to feel angry and not be interested in building a relationship. If I was you I'd be wary of doing so in case he let you down again as he has apparently done numerous times. Your attitude to your innocent baby sister is really mature and heartwarming and I hope after you've left you'll be able to maintain a relationship through your shared grandparents. Good luck for your future, I hope it's bright and beautiful. Not the asshole he might be trying to make things right now, but that doesn't undo what he did, or lack thereof, in the past. I think it's good he's trying again, but you're still hurt by his neglect. Maybe telling him an apology is a good way to start instead of trying to force bonding time. And hey, if you're still insistent on going no contact with him, that's your choice and yours only. But he owes you an apology. He wouldn't have needed to build a relationship with you if he'd bothered to stay in your life when your parents divorced. That is 100% on him. He had a choice between other things in his life, and staying in yours, and he chose himself. His reasons for taking you in likely aren't altruistic either. He has a daughter now, and likely he wants to try parenting a child who requires little to no effort, that'd be you, even though you're about to be a legal adult. You, not the asshole. You were a child when he left, and he came back at a time where you neither welcome him, nor need him. He gets to face his mistakes. As you've all but said outright, you have no interest in playing happy family with him and his life choices. Edited a word for clarity. Not the asshole he chose not to step up and be a parent and wasn't there for you when you were growing up and needed a father he can't come in nearly 10 years later and expect to play father of the year and pretend that he didn't ignore you for so long. He needs to accept that no amount of rug sweeping will ever change the relationship between you both and that he screwed up big time. He had more than enough time to build a great father-son relationship with you, but chose not to and that's on him he doesn't have to like the way things are, but needs to accept that his consequences do have actions and by forcing you to live with him after the death of your mother instead of allowing you to live with your maternal grandparents also caused further damage. Good luck.
said I need to start getting used to him being in my life again. That is the comment that really boils my blood. No one is entitled to take up space in your universe. If you don't want someone in your life, you don't have to suffer their presence. It doesn't matter who that person is, blood relative or not, they are never entitled to being a figure in your life. If your father doesn't like how things are between the two of you now, then he should have thought about that before he initiated NC when you were little. Other people don't revolve around his schedule of being ready to finally have a relationship and he should have known there would be consequences down the line when he made the choice to be absent. Can you live with your grandparents when you turn 18? That might be a better plan to ensure you're financially stable. It's hard to make a living wage at 18. Not the asshole but this is the exact reason you only give two weeks notice if you feel like they deserve it when leaving a job. They may not fire you but they won't make it fun for you either. Your father broke your trust. He did it and then vanished. He doesn't deserve a relationship with you if you don't want one with him but he does deserve the opportunity to try if you let him. You're definitely not the asshole if you do not want that though. He made his choices and you get to make yours. Not the asshole just make sure he and his wife doesn't have access to your money and things like that. You have now given them a heads up so they can plan to be devious. So just make sure you can protect yourself in any way that makes you independent from them. I think your father is quite because you're turning into a man without any of his guidance. He has a lot to regret and to feel remorse about so he will start to reflect on that. It will probably takes years before he admits he completely messed up but it's already too little too late. My advice for you going into adulthood. Pay your rent before your other bills. You may go hungry but you'll have a roof over your head. So the little sister is two and your dad left when you were seven. Next time stepmom tries to pop off about something tell her she has five more years with your dad before he leaves her. Also, not the asshole. Not the asshole, you can tell that witch that she has no say in anything cause all she is, is a dirty home wrecker. Not the asshole next time stepmom says anything about you hurting your dad, remind her that's she's the reason you have no relationship with him. Nah. Going against the grain here slightly. He was an asshole in the past but seems he's honestly trying to atone for being a deadbeat dad in the past. People can change and learn better as they get older. You're entitled to your feelings. You aren't obligated to forgive him but actively harboring a grudge against him isn't good for your mental well-being. Of course forgiving and moving on is easier said than done. Not the asshole. He chose to cheat on your mother with his co-worker. Then he kicked you out of his life for years him and the homewrecker can't force you to have a relationship with them. They bought this upon themselves. They can act like children all they want it won't change anything. The fact that she had the audacity to call you an entitled SHT when she feels like she's instantly entitled to a relationship with you is crazy. Her and you dad are being the entitled ones here. Not the asshole. He's had 10 years to step up and be a father. Nothing he could do or say will erase that and you owe him absolutely nothing, up. It sounds like you have a good head on your shoulders and have been very proactive in getting your future together, despite everything you've gone through. I'm incredibly sorry for the loss of your mother, though. I wish you all the best. Not the asshole. He's reaping what he sowed. You are never obliged to forgive neglect. If he cared, he would have put in the effort before. And your stepmother needs to stop glaring. She enabled this. Info, if you are comfortable sharing, what was your therapist's take on your plans? Only asking because she would have a Betty view on the details. You are entitled to live your life however you want, and honestly it's probably a good thing you told him. Would be much worse to just walk out one day. My one concern is if this is in your best interest long term. Suppose your mom's passing really affected him and he can now be a good support in your life. Is that something worth exploring? That's why I'm asking what your therapist thinks about going NC. Just wouldn't want you to miss out on something. Our views tend to change a lot between 18 and 30. But bottom line is you don't owe him anything either way. Not the asshole. Might need to check with the probate court to make sure you inherited your mom's estate. Dad, might have taken you in in order to control funds. NTA he wasn't around for a literal decade and then thinks he can happy family his way into your life? 
when you file taxes once you're 18, send it with the form saying, someone else may have tried to claim me but I support myself form, so your dad does not try to claim you for the next five years. Not the asshole. It took your mother literally dying for him to step up and take responsibility for his child. Not the asshole. Also, you can't be an ungrateful shit. You have nothing to be grateful for with regards to your father. There wasn't anything that existed, and therefore nothing to be grateful for. The man fucked up, and he thinks he can brush off abandoning a woman and her son for the better part of two decades and then just walk in and wave hello like nothing happened. Not how that works, chief. Not the asshole kind of amazing your home wrecking stepmom thinks you are the ungrateful SHT. Don't want to encourage you to be rude but I wish someone would gently point this out to her. NTA on the basis of the information provided. Are you a 100% assertion that your mom didn't poison you against him? I know that sounds bad, but she was wounded in the worst possible way. Have a conversation with someone and double check that he didn't try hard, he might have fought tooth and nail for you and just gave up once he realized it was hurting you. Then again, he may not have. All the best op, I am happy that your grandparents are here for you, have a vent to that therapist and ask for signs that this may have happened. NTA, repeat back to her that, no, dad was an ungrateful shit because he hurt me and my mom deeply by going NC when you both did nothing wrong. It's difficult. I don't blame you at all. As a father, I go through a lot I'd never accept in any other scenario just to stay with them. One of those things is a dead bedroom. No love, no touch, no kiss, no nothing. I will be close to 60 when my youngest child graduates a decade from now. Another is constantly facing derision and being kicked at every good or bad moment that happens. There, S.A. list so long of moments that any normal person would think horrible. But, I sit here, dealing with it daily, because that means I get to be with my son and daughter. It's tempting to cheat, it's tempting to want to leave. Each of those has a possible consequence. I don't understand at all a father that would willingly throw away everything I fight for every day. Not the asshole. Your dad was absent for years. You have to live with him now and it sounds like he's trying to force a relationship of a lifetime in a year. That's not possible. He can't make things right with a pizza and friendly talk. Trying to make things right would take years of therapy and I don't see that happening. I don't know how you could be an ungrateful shit since you really wanted to go with your grandparents. You have every right to go no contact as soon as it is legally possible. Not the asshole he is trying to pretend that he was a good dad, but he wasn't. His wife is taking his side because she loves him and it is easier to believe that it's your fault than to accept that he could just as easily abandon her and their daughter. Save money, leave, and never look back. Not the asshole calmly reminds stepmom that she's at best a street rat that found one shiny object for you, your sister who I hope you don't ditch forever since she obviously isnt to blame here, so she doesn't matter in the least. Tell dad there's a difference between being a father, and a dad, and both of your dad has been gone for as long as you can remember. You seem to be heading in a good and healthy direction for yourself. You got this man. Stick with the therapy even when you move out. You are holding onto your anger towards your dad with both hands. At some point you might decide to let it go. Not the asshole. Ungrateful shit for hurting your dad, eh? How about, little shit who won't play happy families now so I can forget about what we did to his mum, I would be doing the same thing. And no, you, re not an ass. They are. Not the asshole. Op, my oldest three kids have a clueless dad who is going to be very surprised when the kids turn 18. He brought it on himself. Best wishes and see if you can use that grant money for on-campus housing. It's killer to work and do school full-time at the same time. They were probably looking forward to having a free babysitter. Not the asshole. At the risk of giving you bad advice, at your age a judge would likely let you decide who you want to live with so if your grandparents want you there, it's possible you could just go there and stay. Four months is barely enough time to even deal with it legally. But your grandparents would have to be on board with the potential issues. Sorry for your loss, keep in therapy and make your mom proud with whatever you choose in to do in life.